For the first time, Mayor Lisa Brown publicly addressed the city of Spokane following those three deadly police shootings within 14 days of each other. Mayor Brown saying it stems from the mental health crisis in Spokane, and there's now a push for more mental health resources. Our Jordan Smith is live at City Hall to explain. Well, the emphasis is to uh, dramatically expand and to better organize the mental health resources available here in Spokane, ideally to be able to de-escalate or even prevent incidents like the police-involved shootings we saw earlier this week. But with how dire this need is, how realistic is it that we'll see these changes anytime soon? We all want things to be better than they have been in recent times. And I firmly believe that they can be. In a press conference today, Mayor Brown spoke to the current mental health resources in place within Spokane. But these teams are not coordinated right now. So ideally with coordination, we can get um, step scaled up, coordinated. The shootings in recent weeks reinforcing the need for more mental health resources. Justin DeRoyter with Spokane Fire says mental health assets are a crucial part of their team, particularly in response to suicide, overdose, and unknown calls. That unit's running the lot. They're running, you know, 10 to 12 calls a day. They're busy, so it's, it's definitely a, a resource that, that needs some additional um, attention. That unit, called the Behavioral Response Unit, has one firefighter paramedic qualified for those situations. One person juggling 10 to 12 calls per day, four days a week. And ideally that would be a 24 hour, uh, 24 hour, seven days a week resource. But the solutions to grow these assets are in the works. The city created a community safety work group, a bundle of city leaders and experts who will meet once a month to brainstorm and present solutions for the persistent issues Spokane faces. But the timeline for when we could see more resources and better coordination of them is the big question because these changes won't be overnight. It will be, I'm hoping by second quarter, we'll have some data that we can share out. And implementing these mental health resources was a major part of Mayor Brown's campaign. And I asked for a one-on-one -on -one interview today to try to get more specifics on her public safety plan moving forward. She wasn't available, but we're going to keep trying to see if we can get that interview later this week to share with you. In downtown tonight, Jordan Smith, 4